What is happening? What is the world turning into? I can't seem to understand. This is not how things were before. Things are changing drastically. Oh my God. If you are a parent, please watch to the very end. Don't skip this video. If you are a father, single father, single mother, or you are married, you are still with your family, please just watch to the very end. Parents are failing in one way or the other. Parents are failing their children. Ah, I pray you will not fail your children in Jesus' name. So I'm carrying this work, 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 work. Work is not your priority. I know you need it to sustain your family, but let it not be your priority. Let your family be your priority. Let your children be your priority. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Don't skip this video. Watch to the very end. I watched a video yesterday of a particular lady and she was talking about what happened in the UK. And she said, two siblings, the boy was 14 while the girl was 16. They were having intercourse with themselves, sexual intercourse. They enjoyed it to the extent that they were keeping the record. They do in the morning, they will record it. They do in the afternoon, they will record it. They were having videos of what they were doing. The 14 year old one day sent one of the video to his ex-girlfriend and that one not put it on the internet. That was how the mother got to know. According to the story, the mother collapsed and she was rushed to the hospital. I'm not here to condemn the mother or to condemn the parent, no. But I'm here to tell you, let's learn from mother's mistake. Please be dear for your children. Teach them moral values. Let them know what is good and what is bad. Don't allow the society to train them up for you. Some of us, you wake up in the morning, you are rushing to work. You pick those children, you went to dump them in the daycare. So, I remember, a child of, was it four months? The mother said, I have gone to register her. And she was not working. She said, I have gone to register her. We'll be drop, dropping her in school. I said, what is this child going to learn? She said, no, she will be there for them. Ah, some of us, we drop those children as early as eight, seven. They're already in the daycare. They're in school. And before you pick them up today, sometime four, some, some children will stay till six o'clock. And when they come, it's just to eat their dinner. No time to spend with their parents. They eat their dinner, they go back to bed. In the morning, they're in the school. Who is bringing up these children for you? The stranger, a total stranger that you don't know. So the devil has entered into the life of the children because we parents are failing. The Bible says, it says, I know Abraham. He will command his children after me. How come? You are there, work, work, work. I know we need this work. We need it. But let it not be your number one. Let it not be your priority. Don't work 12 hours, 15 hours. Please, do the one you can do. And have time for your children. You must have time for them. The both parents cannot be missing in the house. If the father is not there, let the mother be there. If the mother is not there, let the father be there. Don't say because of money. Because if you leave these children to grow like this, at the end, you will be the one to pay for it. Like just the story I shared, the woman collapsed and she was rushed to the hospital. I don't know, they said she got a heart attack or something. She got an attack. If that attack remains, you see the pains she's getting through her children. Please, anything you can do, do what you can do. Be there for them. Befriend them. Let them relate with you. Let them have, if they have anything in their heart, they will be able to share with you. Mommy, this is what happened. This is what my teacher told me. This is what my friend told me. Befriend them. Don't be too harsh on them. Don't be too hard on them. When you are hard on them, they will, they will be close to themselves. They will not tell you anything. 
But let them be free with you. So as you can advise them. Please have time with them. Study the Bible together. Relate it with them. This won't happen because of this. Relate it with them. And let them understand. Have time for them. Don't let the devil occupy your children. Don't give the devil the space. If the devil is winning in their life already, sister, start praying right now. Brother, start praying. Deliver them out of every stronghold they find themselves. Please be there. Don't condemn them. Don't condemn them. How can a sister and a brother be attracted to their own, to their own selves? Ah, it is well. Sister, please be there. Be there. Make correction. If you have started anything wrongly, make correction. Make correction. And God will help you. Carry God along. The Bible says, except the Lord build, the labor in vain that build. Tell the Lord to build the life of your children for you. And God will help you. And God will help me. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.